All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we are right here with the new Opel Astra 2020 free version and with this new multimedia system that Astra come with and also probably the future Opel cars. And I have with me the iPhone and I wanna show you how easy it is to connect your iPhone to this new multimedia system from Opel. So first of all, what you will have to do, the great part is that it comes with wireless connectivity that means you don't need any cables in order to connect it all you have to do is just go to your phone and actually access the bluetooth the bluetooth it's very important the internet connectivity should be on as well and once you are here down here on your phone it should search for the vehicle search for this uh, device but let me leave it down for a while let me go in application drawer you have to go in application drawer mirror screen once you go in mirror screen it will give you some information here it will tell you how you should do that and then you just press connect device and then you just wait now it says like vehicle is now visible so you should search it down here and you can see it opal down here you just press on opal and then you wait a few seconds and then it should appear on the screen a uh, message right right now dan's iphone want to connect yes and then you have to confirm the pin confirm the pin and you wait a few seconds now uh, your phone should work with as well let's wait a few seconds need a little bit of time come on 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 connect need a little bit of time to connect so we should wait no response no device respond now it's my device fall uh, that it's not working we should wait a little bit more I'm not sure why it doesn't want to connect usually it should connect immediately you can see right now it says pair you just press pair right here and then yes confirm and now it should work now it should work you wait a few seconds the great part is that once you connect it you don't have to reconnect it every time you go inside the car it's just you do it once and then it stays connected like always and right now oh come on man what's wrong with you let me turn off and on one more time the bluetooth i tried before and it works quite fine let me see one more time let's press it one more time and then it will ask you the same story right here. Pair. Yes, now it's work. Allow. And you press allow. Don't get that. Oh, come on. Why it's activated the voice command. Now, yes. Confirm. And come on, man. Yes, you see, I'm there. I'm there. It says connect. Dance iPhone connect and apple carplay it asks you okay start start apple carplay and then use apple carplay you have to choose here on your phone it's show me also that it has a, an opal application my opal so you can also install uh, the opal application and you can use it with your car if you will buy the car but that's another story in the another review video and this is how it looks guys this is the opal a uh, new multimedia system 2023 with apple carplay connected and you don't need any cable you have to leave your phone here you have to be connected to the internet and also you can see with android is the same story the great part is that it's all over the screen i mean you can see it all over the screen not like in other cars where you see only a small part no it's just all over the screen and also it's very very responsive you have all the application that you have it also on your phone like whatsapp zoom telegram spotify google map whatever app you have here also the map the normal map from the iphone you can go in the normal map from iphone and you can choose a destination here or you can use even the voice command if you go to voice command you press it three seconds navigate to barcelona getting directions to barcelona spain right and you can see how nice and how fast it works it's just almost perfectly you just press go and you can see also directions on the cockpit because many people ask me it will show you the map on the cockpit the answer is 
uh, not the map but directions and also it will show you a nice um, icon there with Apple that shows you it's coming from Apple uh, but you can see the map right here if you want to go back you press this one here and you go sorry if you want to go back you press wait or you go home and then you go home if you want to go back in through the menu of the car you just press home here and you are back in the menu of the car and you can see you can use all the application and you can go in settings or whatever uh, just that simple and if you want to go back to Android you go to application drawer and you should have here uh, Apple CarPlay sorry not Android you have Apple CarPlay you press it and now you're connected uh, to it and if you want to go back to settings and for example you want to choose other settings let me check out here usually you should press this one yes you just press this one and it gets you directly to the to the home to the application just it's just that simple and then you can also play and go in every single settings you want anyway this is how it works it's that easy if you want to disconnect it it also go there in application drawer and disconnect it i hope the video was useful if you still have questions, ask me down below whatever you want to ask. Uh, also, if you want to see the full review with this multimedia system, I have it already on the channel. So check it out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.